welcome to our map based fundamentals of world geography video series we are studying south america in this video series we completed all the water channels and briefly studied the tierra del fuego in the previous video in this video we shall cover islands at the southern side of the continent including south georgia islands south sandwich islands and falkland islands we will also see falkland ocean current and tierra del fuego in further detail before we begin make sure to download our app clarity upsc it is available for ios on apple app store google play store and as a web app statement true false quiz truly helps you become an expert in statement evaluation of prelims more on this at the end of the video let us begin Let us now look at few islands near to South American mainland in the Atlantic Ocean. First one is South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands lie in the southern Atlantic Ocean. They are remote and rugged islands. These islands are part of British Overseas Territory. South Georgia Island is around 54 degrees south latitude. The South Sandwich Islands extend further south up to 59 degrees latitude. The climate here is very harsh. Winters are severe and snowfall is heavy. Historically, these islands were significant for the whaling and sealing industries. Today they are known mainly for wildlife conservation. Another island nearby in the Atlantic is Falkland Islands. They are situated to the west of South Georgia Islands. They lie about 500 kilometers east of Argentina's coast. These islands are also a part of British Overseas Territory. They consist of two main islands called East Falkland and West Falkland. Around these main islands there are hundreds of smaller islands. The landscape is generally hilly with gentle slopes and rocky coastlines. Vegetation here is mostly grasslands and shrubs. Trees are almost completely absent due to strong cold winds. Surrounding the Falkland Islands is the cold Falkland current. This ocean current flows northward along the coast of Argentina. It originates from the Antarctic circumpolar current further south. The Falkland current carries cold nutrient rich water. It significantly influences marine life and climate around the Falkland Islands. The current's cold water supports abundant fish and marine mammals. This makes the waters around Falklands rich fishing grounds. The cold waters from the Falkland current also affect the climate. They lower temperatures and increase fog around the islands. The interaction between the cold Falkland current and warmer waters from Brazil further north creates rich marine biodiversity. This oceanographic condition makes the Falkland Islands important for wildlife and fisheries. All right, we saw these islands. Now let us proceed to mainland South America. Let us start from southernmost part. Tierra del Fuego is at the southernmost tip of South America. Its southernmost point is called Cape Horn. This cape is famous for rough seas and stormy weather. Tierra del Fuego is not one island. It is an archipelago of many islands. The largest island is Isla Grande de Tierra del Fuego. This archipelago is divided between two countries, Chile and Argentina. The name Tierra del Fuego means land of fire. Ferdinand Magellan named it in 1520. When Magellan sailed past these islands, he saw fires along the shores. Indigenous people had lit fires. Seeing these fires Magellan gave the region this name Ushuaia is located here it is the world's southernmost city in argentina on the chilean side is puerto williams puerto williams claims to be the world's southernmost town the difference is one is city and one is town just for context a city is bigger than a town the geography of tierra del fuego is varied The western part is mountainous and rugged. Eastern areas are flatter and covered by grassy plains. The vegetation includes grasslands, shrubs and mosses. 
Forests grow in sheltered areas, mostly beech trees. Due to its location, the climate here is harsh and windy. Winters are very cold and snowy. Summers remain cool and cloudy. Today, Tierra del Fuego attracts many tourists. Visitors come here for its stunning landscapes, wildlife and as a gateway to Antarctica. This is all about this video. We will study other features in next video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel Clarity of Concept UPSC. Download our app Clarity UPSC from App Store, Play Store or as a web app. Links of these are given below. You get up to date UPSC relevant curated news in our app. Make sure you check out practice section. It has topic by topic statement analysis quiz section. It helps you master statement evaluation and develop critical thinking skills important for UPSC and all other multiple choice based questions of preliminary examinations. It has 5 levels of difficulty making the learning truly challenging and retain longer. Download now.